objection taken off notice. It can seem like business as usual when it comes to politics in the volunteer state. Bill fails for lack of a second. Bill stays in committee. Partisanship, some say, is aimed at the fringes of the political spectrum. Organized with folks in Cookville to oust John Rose, who's a POS. For those not at the edges, but in the middle. Some of the Democratic bills weren't even debated because no one on the committee signaled that they wanted to know more about them. Is there any hope? Do I have a motion? Do I have a motion going twice? Third and final call for a motion. Bill Fells. The answer from a newly formed nonprofit and super PAC. Our government is operating in a really dysfunctional atmosphere. Consider amendment number three Fells. Is yes. That is what has driven most of the folks in the middle out of this arena. So we need to shift the culture if we want to bring them back in. The group, the best of Tennessee, says it hopes to do that, among other things, through digital marketing campaigns to get voters in the middle out to the polls. The group says it's not affiliated with any political party or ideology and instead will support candidates who they say exhibit strong leadership and act in the best interest of their community. Isn't that what all representatives are supposed to do anyway? What, what does that phrase mean to you? Yes, of course, all representatives are absolutely tasked with representing the interests of their community, but I think we can all agree that that's not necessarily happening right now, in part because sometimes the best interest of the community and the interest of the fringe of a party diverge. As for which districts the Best of Tennessee group says is an example of that, the group says it needs to do more research first, hoping to identify districts to potentially influence after the elections this year. This is not a short term project. I want to be absolutely clear. This is not a single cycle endeavor. This is a long term project that is designed to be sustainable and self sustaining over time. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.